Today, the Carolina Panthers hit the practice field for the first time in nine years without Ron Rivera at the helm. Now, we broke into programming yesterday as soon as we learned that owner David Tepper had fired the team's head coach. Today, Channel 9's Deshaun Brown heard from Rivera as he officially said goodbye. And Deshaun is live tonight for us right outside of Bank of America Stadium. Deshaun, I know it had to be emotional. Yeah, Erica, we did. We witnessed a range of different emotions from Ron Rivera today. At one point, he was frustrated over the narrative that his teams have not won. But he was also reflective and thankful, not only for what he's done here, but how he did it. You could tell the moment he walked through the doors, Ron Rivera had something he needed to say and say again. I want to reemphasize, I'm proud that I took over a 2-14 team and won back to back to back. See the emphasis? This morning, not only did Rivera give his final address okay. to reporters, the fans, his staff, but his team. A moment, he says, you simply can't rehearse. I tried to wing it. Um, and it was tough. It was because um, there's a lot of heck of a, there, there really is, there's, there's a lot of good young men in that room. There really are. And um, I just wanted to make sure they knew how much I appreciated them, how much I believe in them. Rivera pointed to current players like Greg Olson and Eric Reed. Not just for their impact away from the game, but their impact on him. I spoke to him, uh, all the coaches. And, uh, he told me I changed his mind about um, what he had thought about me, what I was doing with the protests. By no means is this a one man failure. Um, we all have our hand in the, in the cookie jar. But even with the struggles they've all faced this year, after nine seasons, Rivera now leaves Carolina, the winningest coach in team history with plans to coach again. It's funny, one of the things that Mr. Richardson asked me in our interview was, you know, uh, how long do you want to be a head coach? I said, eight or 10 years. He said, why only eight? I said, well, I don't know. Maybe after eight, nine or 10, it, it, maybe it's time for a change. But, um, but who knows, maybe that's what this is. And when we spoke with Christian McCaffrey in the locker room a few moments ago, he said, you know, I think I speak for everyone when I say that we wish we could have won more games for him. Erica? And, uh, Coach certainly did a lot for the community as well, along with that team. So, um, Deshaun, we also learned some other big Panther news today that uh, Cam Newton is going to have foot surgery. Yeah, today interim head coach Perry Fuel confirmed that during a news conference not long ago. He said that Newton will have that procedure at some point next week. And of course, this is to now address the nagging injury or the injury that's nagged Newton all season long, essentially in his left foot, which was classified as a Liz Frank, and that can either be a tear or break of some kind in the ligaments in the middle part of the foot. Now, initially, the plan was to try to see if this could heal on its own, but Newton now opting to undergo surgery. And a source does tell us today that, at least for now, his plan is to continue with holiday events. Also later this month, we will see how that works out, but he would like to be able to do that for the community at this point. Erica? I know he likes to do a lot with the kids over the holidays. I know they'll be looking forward to it. Thank you, Deshaun. If you missed Ron Rivera's news conference this morning, we posted the full video on our WSOC app. Just look inside our top story on our homepage.